This is lesson two for Welcome to Online Hitting. Our topic is vision, perception, and cognition. So after we establish the correct mindset, now what matters most is how we see a pitch, how we perceive what we saw, and probably the most crucial is how fast do we process it. Everybody doesn't process pitches at the same speed. Some people see something, they know what it was. They're perceiving exactly what they know it is, but their brain just doesn't process it fast enough. So some of the training that we're gonna be doing in this course is going to involve all three. How we see, how we perceive, and how our cognitive process works. Is it slow, is it fast, is it not? And each drill that we do is focused on being able to implement some form of vision, some form of perception, and some form of cognition within the process of the hitting drill or within the rep itself. <clears throat> Let's talk about the speed of the visual information process. So like, for example, I see a pitch, um, I gotta be able to determine what that pitch was or what that pitch is, where that pitch is gonna be in the strike zone, and what does my body have to do particularly my barrel in, ter in terms of creating an angle to hit that pitch, either squaring it up and hit that pitch in the air. Everybody can't do that fast. So therefore, when pitchers throw harder, the pitchers who throw faster, it exposes hitters who are slow cognitively. You can put a bat tracker on that, on that kid. You can do front toss. That kid can have the highest exit velocity on the team. But when you put that kid in a game with somebody throwing in the 90s if it's baseball or somebody throwing in the mid 60s if it's softball, you are going to expose the cognitive flaws in that kid's game, period. So we have to train that. Or we have to start to reevaluate how we are training our kids for high level success, not just mediocre success, not just mid-level success, but high level success. This is what I wanna to try to accomplish in the course. The organization and the prioritization of the latter. So, okay, um, I have to organize my thought processes to understand what comes first, what comes second in terms of what I'm seeing, in terms of how I respond to what I saw. So a response is the kind of the final piece to the puzzle because I saw it, I perceived it, I processed it. Now what's my response gonna be? That's the final piece of the puzzle. That's hands barrel, pretty much.